Can't breathe, officer, don't shoot Can't breathe <laughs> Yo, I'm just one of the five I'm just one with the vibes Even niggas is jealous, so they just want you to die They don't want you to rise They just want your demise So I be crossing my teeth Party's over, tell the rest of the crew Stash the drugs, the guns go to section two Yeah, drop the new joint with um, Nipsey and Neo Ain't nothing new so, you know, I'm just trying to cater, cater to the people, show you, give my fans that already got what they want and give the new fans a little bit of what's going on. That's the reason for the future record. And then the Neo and Nipsey, you know what I mean? Just trying to cover the perimeter, show you that kiss. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Just give you some good music you could enjoy as opposed to a bunch of clownism, you know what I mean? A lot of that going on in rap right now. Definitely. It's like with, with your music, you, you, you get, you know, you get the hard shit, you get the streets, but you also get jewels, you get little gems. That's, you, you, you got different kind of ears, so that's why I like talking to you, but um, yeah, I always try to slip something in there, drop a jewel, because it's important, you know what I mean? I got a lot of years in the game. Big Nas fan, came up on the KRS, Rakim, Kane, all of them type of dudes, so they was always slipping in jewels, you know what I mean? A pose with some witty, slick lyrics. It's always good to give some jewels because the youth is always listening. The people is always listening. And, um, no, it's a beautiful thing when the when the young guys grew up off you or they embrace you or they respect your craft and you know what I mean. They they think they need you or they always call for me like kiss. This would mean a lot of you. This is gonna solidify me or stamp me to get a joint with you. So that make you feel proud as a. You know, as an artist, and it's just good to embrace them. That gives you your career legs anyway when you embrace the new dude. You know, some of the some of the guys from my era tend to stay in the bubble and not want to work with them and not show them love, and that don't do nothing but hurt their careers at the end of the day because it's all about showing these new kids their love, you know what I mean, and blending with them and working with them and taking it to the next level. That's all I look for in, in um, each project. That's all I'm looking for with this Top 5 Dead or Alive. I ain't just a little more success from the last kiss, whether it be branding, whether it be an endorsement, whether it be different TV looks, whether it be being on all of the blogs that I wasn't on, you know, last time, whether it, whatever it is, I, you know, as far as accolades and all that, I, I was already told I was nice from Biggie, Nas, Hov, Eminem, Trey 3000, whoever you, whoever's the top guys in rap, they already showed me, you know what I mean, they gave me that stamp that I needed, you know, so that, with having a couple dollars, I could die today, I'm good, <laughs> I'm, I'm good with this rap game, you know what I mean? I mean even, even you saying all that just reminds me of, of that one line you got, I think it's, um, Yeah. Hard work can be talent if talent don't work hard. And that's, that's so it. evident in what you're doing now. Do you still stand by that model? Definitely. That's till that's they lower the casket. That's, that is, that's, that's going on in all kind of aspects of life, whether it be rap, basketball, football, politics. That you know, If you don't work hard, you can be the talented in the world. Somebody that's working hard is going to surpass you before you know it, you know, from just being BSing. Especially with the way it is now, where you know a lot of young kids have the internet, they get a song out today. You know, they can and it starts and it starts a snowball effect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, aside from the music, man, I think one of, one of the really, really dope things you guys just did this year was, was the juice bars and just the whole movement. But not only opening it up, but just letting people know that this is for the community, this is for a change, for for people to, to see that you can live a healthy lifestyle even if you're not, if you don't live in an affluent area. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, yeah, we just use our voice as a motivational tool to uplift the hoods and the neighborhoods where we come from to bring some health awareness, you know, health awareness to the hoods because they, they, they flood us with liquor stores, fast food right. joints, all type of clogged arteries, you know what I mean, or, or saturated fast processed foods are very reachable opposed to juices and smoothies and you know what I mean? Just stuff that we need. So we're just trying to slowly but surely get that out there and 
the same way they listen to the music, hopefully they can listen to that and, you know what I mean, a little by little start to change something. I mean, I think it's a great movement and, and good, as, as I said before, it's a good example for other rappers to follow and see. Definitely, you know, and it, and it will because that's, this whole health kick is traveling, is global right now. Everybody's eating healthy and working out, so timing is impeccable with it. We just got to keep working.